from Galway. Maybe Guinness shots. Irish music is epic. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were road tripping Ireland's Causeway Coast, where I challenged my fear of heights on a 100-foot high rope bridge. We also got a taste of Irish tradition at the world's oldest licensed whiskey distillery. And ended our day at a causeway that was supposedly created by a mythical giant or volcanic activity. That's up for you to decide. This week, we're in Galway. Welcome to Galway. This is the fourth video in our Ireland series, so be sure to check out the others when you're done here. But like we said, we are in Galway, also known as the cultural capital of Ireland. Galway is an interesting city because in many ways it is very modern, but right alongside that vibrant modern bohemian culture is the city's rich history dating all the way back to the 12th century. Needless to say, we are excited to learn more about this beautiful city as we explore today. And if you're planning a trip to Galway yourself, be sure to check out our blog where we'll outline everything that we did today plus a whole lot more. We'll link that down in the description but before we get into the exploring I need some food and caffeine. Same so let's go. <laughs> This is very cute and quaint and they're probably going to sit people right next to us so we're not going to be able to film because it's like very tiny and everybody's sitting close together. So I got the dirty chai. It is very hot but very delicious. I'm a fan. I got the scone, and that's always a gamble because they could be really, really dry. But the raisin scone here, highly recommend. It's really, really good. I got the breakfast toasty, which is a bacon, sausage, egg, and cheese, I believe, sandwich on white or brown toast. I mean, how can you mess that up? So that was way better than expected. <laughs> yeah, it is in kind of a touristy area, so we weren't sure what to expect really. But yes, it exceeded our expectations. I loved my chai latte. Yeah, the dirty chai was really good. The food was nothing mind-blowing, but it was still done really well. I will say, because it is in a touristy area, the prices do reflect that a little bit, so just be prepared for that if you do come here. And I love the fact that it is right across the street from Air Square. Which is where we're headed now. I think I'm standing where John F. Kennedy once stood. I Is think, that true? I think you are, uh, because in 1965, although many people still call it Air Square, this park was officially renamed John F. Kennedy Memorial Park, huh. because in 1963, he came to Galway and made a speech from this park, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Since my family is Irish, we bought loads of gifts at the gift shop. Naturally. But we also got postcards for our patrons. We want to thank every name right down below here for supporting this channel. It means way more than you know and helps us to continue upgrading gear, paying for subscriptions that are necessary to keep this channel going. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys are interested in becoming a patron, check out the link down in the description. We would love to have you in the family. Back in the early days of Galway, there were 14 powerful tribes that ruled the whole area. One of them was the Lynches, and this back behind me is their castle. It currently houses an AIB bank. It is the oldest building in Ireland in daily commercial use. The bulk of it was built in the 16th century, but some parts of the building can be dated all the way back to the 14th century. just a friendly reminder to always bring change with you so you can use the restrooms in Europe. <laughs> 
So we're now in Air Square Shopping Center and you may be wondering why we are in a shopping center. That's because there is a medieval city wall inside the shopping center. <laughs> and, and I think I yep, see it right now. Right at the top of the escalator. So cool. <laughs> Um, that was really, really cool. So kind of like we said earlier, it was a perfect example of Galway as a whole, modern meets history. Yeah. Plus it was very interesting to see mannequins displayed on a medieval city wall. <laughs> I thought it was great that they didn't tear it down, so yeah. good on you. <laughs> True. What better way to explore city than just roam around the streets? Yeah, unlike our normal itineraries today, we don't have a ton on the agenda. We're just gonna do exactly that, roam the streets, take in the sights, try to hit all of the highlights that we've made note of, and yeah, just enjoy this absolutely beautiful day in Galway. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining, <laughs> everybody is out. It is amazing, yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> travel on the weekends and we actually got to go to mass just for like a little bit and it was wonderful yeah everybody's super sweet they even came up and handed us the service order so we would know where we were at even though we were late so. yeah <laughs> but this was amazing So that was an absolute highlight for me. I felt like a local and everyone was so kind. Yeah, I only wish we had looked up the mass schedule before coming so we could yeah. have made it to the whole service. But nonetheless, we're so glad we kind of popped in and even caught just a little bit of it. The history of this church is amazing. Yeah, it dates all the way back to 1320. In 2020, they had their 700 year anniversary. <laughs> um, and it's also said that Christopher Columbus came and prayed here in 1477 before one of his trips to discover the new world. Highly recommend checking it out on your trip here. Yep. Especially if you're here on a Sunday. Yes, just, please go, just, just go. Just check the mass schedule first. <laughs> stumbled upon a market. <laughs> if you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we usually don't get to travel on weekends, but we are here in Galway on a Sunday, so you get to find little surprises like this. Boy, kiss my over a hundred thousand books here so it might be a while <laughs> Do you have room in your luggage? No, not really. <laughs> I love this place. Please check it out when you're here. Everybody was so lovely. And the prices, you can't beat this. This was $10 less, not including taxes. So I mean, why not support local when you can?
Right now we're in front of Thomas Dillon Cladaw Gold, which is the original maker of the Cladaw Ring since 1750. Now some history behind the Cladaw Ring. Legend has it that fisherman Richard Joyce, shortly before he was to be married, was captured by pirates and sold into slavery. His captor was a Moorish goldsmith who sensed his potential and trained Richard in his craft. In time, Richard Joyce became a highly proficient master craftsman, and all through his training he had thought of his sweetheart at home. And that's so sweet. Okay. As he created his first Cladaw ring with a heart for love, a pair of hands for friendship, and a crown for loyalty and fidelity, in 1689, all subjects of King William III, who were held in slavery, were freed. Richard Joyce refused his former master's offer of half his fortune and his daughter's hand in marriage to return home to Ireland, and he found his sweetheart who waited for him. So then he gave her the ring, and the rest is history. So now let's go check out the store. getting a necklace and it's so beautiful. I am so excited about it. <laughs> Matt is spoiling me today and I am about it. I know, already a book, now a necklace. I know, who are you? This is great. I love Galway. Maybe I should buy you a Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay. Can I put it on? I'm like so excited. Look how beautiful. It's the original. Now if you do have cash, they do give you a little discount. <gasps> is it so cute? I'm elated. <laughs> That's your look today. It really is. Look at the Irish. My maiden name is Green, so it makes sense. <laughs> made it to McDonough's, which is a classic fish and chip shop right here on Quay Street. Haven't dove into the fish yet, but the chips are pretty dang good. Also, Natalie has not bought me a Guinness yet because they didn't have any here, so she still owes me. Although Coke is pretty good right now. <laughs> So that food was delicious. Yep. Highly recommend it. <laughs> Definitely lived up to the hype. I know it's in, again, a touristy area, but did not disappoint. No, not at all. Also, if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up <laughs> and also hit that subscribe button. Yep, it really helps out our channel. And we're on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die, before we die. Yeah. So <laughs> hit the subscribe button if you want to join along on that journey. Now we're going to explore more of Galway. stumbled upon another market. <laughs> weekend travel for the win. Oh my gosh, I see why people travel on the weekends. <laughs> and it's right next to another really popular spot in town called the Spanish Arch, which is an arch that was built in 1584 and is actually an extension of a Norman built wall from the 12th century. So cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they call it, but it is so beautiful. Yeah, it really is. I think it's called the Corb River Walk, but it's a pretty short 10 minute walk from mm -hmm. start to finish, but absolutely worth it. It's kind of a nice little peaceful spot in the middle of the city. Definitely yeah. check it out.
also back behind me here is the Salmon Weir Pedestrian and Cycling Bridge. And it actually just opened yesterday. I think it's the first bridge to be built over the river in 35 years, I think I saw somewhere. But yeah, pretty cool. It runs parallel right next to the original Salmon Weir Bridge. One of the first people on the bridge. It's <laughs> at exciting. Least with, at least within probably the first 20,000 or so. <laughs> Still exciting. <laughs> Beautiful job, guys. It's a great bridge. So we weren't actually originally planning on doing this cathedral, yeah. but I'm glad we did. Yeah, because the cathedral itself actually wasn't built until like 1958. Which is so, wild. They yeah. did a great job. <laughs> no, they really did. But naturally, when you see a newer cathedral, you're like, ah, you kind of write it off. But I'm really glad we made the time to go in because it was a very beautiful inside. Yeah. And honestly, just massive. When you so step in, it was so impressive. Big. Yeah. yeah, the stained glass is one of my favorite parts. Now we're going to head back to the Latin Quarter and get Matt again. <laughs> this place is no air conditioning, so it's a little warm in here. No, but they are supposed to have live music starting in about 30 minutes. I think this guy's gonna get up from the bar, so we have to go. Okay, we gotta go. All right, go, 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 go. We did it, we got seats. <laughs> the last two in the whole place. about to start and it is getting crazy busy in here now. Oh, yeah. Glad we got here early. <laughs> this Irish music is epic. Definitely a must. <laughs> Bartenders just brought us baby Guinness shots, which is Bailey's and coffee liqueur. They said they thought it would be great for the vlog. How amazing are these people? So let's give these things a try. Cheers. It smells delicious. <laughs> okay, you guys know I don't like coffee anything, so we'll see how this goes. Baby Guinness is delicious. Okay, when you're in Ireland, you're gonna have to order a Baby Guinness and let us know your thoughts. Even if you don't like coffee. Yeah, oh my gosh. I love this place. <laughs> Everybody 
everybody here is in Galway? Yep, everybody is here to have a good time. That is for sure. And we spent entirely too long in that pub hanging out, meeting new friends. Yeah, we made a lot of new <laughs> friends. It was awesome. Some from the US, some locals, some from the UK, but everyone was so kind and we had such a great time. Can you believe it is so bright outside? Sunset doesn't set here until about 10 p.m. Yeah, and we have an early day tomorrow, so I think we're gonna call it a night. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell while you're at it. <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video where we continue this Ireland series. See you then. I know the vlog is done, but- We were headed back to our hotel, looking for somewhere quick to eat. But we smelled this place and came to it, and we were not expecting it to be this amazing. I'm not even that hungry, <laughs> and I'm finishing this thing. Come to tummy time, <laughs> which is a funny name, but honestly, the food, spectacular. You won't regret it. And it is so stinking good. Just come here. All right, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Galway. Galway. Well, I messed up. What did you mess up? I, I don't know how I messed it up, <laughs> okay, but I messed up the easiest line of the whole thing. <laughs> you guys like my hat? It was only five euros. They have Krispy Kreme here. So I know it's not local, but it's probably still delicious. And there's a line. Oh, whoa. <laughs> from the busy, from the busy. I'll wait for these people to pass. That's <laughs> awkward. Awkward. What are you doing? I am about to fly the drone and I'm doing my Irish pee pee dance. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's carrying my leather jacket because it's so warm. There's a heat wave here in Galway. Yeah, it's so. up to like 65 degrees Fahrenheit, y'all. Whoa, so I'm hot. Matt put it in his backpack and I said, I will be nice to you all day. What did you say? I said, well, that's nice because that hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Which is also one of Europe's shortest rivers at only six kilometers long. Look at it flowing. I yeah, would love moving. to get a tube and <laughs> tube down that thing. That sounds so country. I'm not gonna, okay. <laughs>